Hi guys, Friday the 8th of March, just got back from the charity shops, bought two things, I bought this clock, um, you may know I have a bit of a thing about clocks and do tend to collect them, this one's seen better days, a couple of cracks on it, but it was only 99 pence. I liked it because it's nice, big and clear. But I, was, I was thinking I might be able to use it for some of my projects. Um, either see if we can run it off a potato battery or something, or just use it in the background when I'm filming, because that's a nice, clear display. So 99 pence, I thought, yeah, that's worth it. I did have a look under the label. It's B&M. Retail, I think. Yeah. B&M Retail. And I did put a battery in it just now, and it did start running. I haven't tested it for accuracy or anything, but it did at least start the second hand ticking around. And then the other thing I bought, another six-in-one solar kit. This one, Space Robots, by Satsuma. I expect they're all made in the same Chinese factory and just packaged to whatever the retailer wants to make it look like. Uh, if you missed it, <laughs> I did that one uh, last week or the week before. That one cost me £3 and was branded... Where was the name? Avon, I saw on it somewhere. Oh, right on the front there, underneath do it yourself. Avon. So say I expect, you know, they're being churned out by the millions and then boxed up to whatever the uh, retailer wants. This one's got a little walking astronaut. In the looks of it, so that should be all right. No idea what the shuttle does. Oh, it's got little wheels underneath. So, and that one appears to have wheels. That one has wheels. I wonder if that walks or just vibrates. One of the kits, six in one kits I've got, it has a little dog. And the motor has an offset weight on it, so it just vibrates and it moves like one of those bristle bugs. And I'm guessing the space station probably just goes around in circles. We'll find out. I'll do six separate videos for it. Maybe an introduction one at the beginning as well. But yeah, £3.50. I was saying that one cost me three pounds. I like to pay a pound for something like that. I had a quick peek inside, and although it's not in its plastic bag, I expect we could have a look, couldn't we? I'm trying to do this without a tripod today for some reason. I don't know why I chose to do that. So they're all in one piece, haven't been separated out. That's all there. Stickers are there. Instructions are there. And that be the solar panel and motor. All still sealed, so looks good. Let's just have a look inside in the instructions. We need some cutters, scissors. And batteries, oh, that's probably so you can run it when there is no sun. Yeah, two plastic uh, parts. Micro rechargeable battery. Ah, I have had one of those before. So a super capacitor charges up off the solar panel or you can charge it separately 
and you've got a battery case, so you've got three ways of power in it. Hmm. Well, maybe it's not so bad for £3.50. You've got quite a selection of the things you can do. So, yeah. That'll probably be seven videos. One introduction and six builds. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing, and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.